This is the captain's log, stardate 3027.4. So, I don't know how much you know about Facebook Diaries. Um, first of all, I'm Randy Zuckerberg. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, and, but anyway, so Facebook and Zidio, which is Comcast's user-generated uh, TV website, is um, we're trying to capture really the voice of the Facebook generation. And so we're asking users questions like, who am I? What am I passionate about? What is my first heartbreak? How do I feel about life during the war? Things like that, just to really capture how people are feeling. Okay. So, um, since you're, you know, really a personality for this generation, we thought it'd be really cool to talk to you and to, you know, for you to tell all the viewers your answer to who am I and what, you know, what you're extremely passionate about. Great. Oh, thanks. I'm flattered. Actually. Yeah. Thank you for me for this, but yeah. <laughs> so what? What would you say that you're extremely passionate about? Uh, well, right now my life is completely consumed by Justin.tv. Um, I'm, well, I'm Justin Cobb from Justin.tv. Uh, he is Justin.tv. I am Justin.tv. <laughs> and so, you know, mostly I spend every day trying to figure out how we can create interesting content yeah. for, you know, people to see online. Like mm -hmm. Everyone's all about online video and we're really yeah. passionate about bringing live video as a medium to people and making it like democratizing live video. So I think Sorry. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> yeah. It's my mom. <laughs> I'll, I'll call her back. Um, so, okay. The question was. <laughs> I feel bad. Like you should probably talk to your mom if you want. Does your mom watch the site? Yeah, she does. Actually. Yeah. Uh, oh, missed call. All right. All right. I'll, I'll call her back. Um, you know, so the question was like, do we go out of our way to do more yeah. interesting stuff and like kind of make my life a little bit, you know, crazier? Exactly. Like, uh, how much of the reality TV is reality? Right. Well, so well, the way I like to put it is that this is Justin mm -hmm. with just on Justin TV is like, yeah. it's like super Justin because mm -hmm. like I'm still the same person and it's not yeah. being cut down to say like, oh, we're casting Justin as like right. a partier or as a kind yeah. of like an ass or like a really <laughs> fun guy or, or whatever. It's not kind yeah. of like that, you know. I'm probably all three of those and like way more things, mm -hmm. you know. But um, Just Not TV has kind of given me the opportunity to go out and do all these crazy things yeah. that I wouldn't be able to. Like for the example, the other day I was, had a flying trapeze lesson, which was like really awesome. fun, right? And something <laughs> I'd probably never have like looked into. Yeah. But um, the circus school like called me up and said, no, you should come on down and, you know, we'll show you what we're doing. That's cool. And so that was really cool. But it was yeah. something that, it was kind of like contrived, but it was mm -hmm. also something that I just think of now, now I'm able to do because of Just Not TV. So. Right. So that's kind of like, it is real. So what's the craziest or most unique thing that's happened to you before you put the camera on? Um, off the top of my head, well, one crazy thing <laughs> that, I mean, I've kind of had a, a not non-traditional path. Like mm -hmm. senior year in college, I went to Yale and, and I spent my entire year like not doing any work and I just produced this like <laughs> men's calendar uh, on a kind of a, almost like a, just a crazy idea I had. I mean, I don't even know why I'm straight. Right? <laughs> so I didn't get any benefit from it. And, but, uh, but yeah, like, you know, we did crazy shots. Like I did one, uh, where I was wearing whipped cream and my friends. Oh, you were the star of the calendar? I was, no, I mean, it was... <laughs> Like I, I did one month, but like we did, I got all convinced all my friends. I suckered them into like okay. doing these like different, you know, different shots. And like one was like yeah. on a pool table and like a bed of roses. <laughs> like another guy was like rubbing soap on his, himself. <laughs> so, you know, I've always tried to gone with my crazier ideas. And yeah. then like after that, I didn't well, I really want to get a real job. So I, I started this other company with one of my current co-founders, mm -hmm. uh, and then and we started this company called Kiko, which is mm -hmm. this web calendar. Yeah. And um, that ended up. You know, kind of, we, we built that, and then we ended up selling yeah. it on eBay, and then we started <laughs> Justin TV, <laughs> and so, yeah, it's been like a, a kind of a crazy yeah. ride. Entrepreneur extraordinaire. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Oh, okay. I could. I mean, we've. I've been on a couple of dates with, um, with, with a very sweet girl, um, for the on camera, and uh, we've had a, a good time. And so, like, working out, like, you know, what's it's it's also kind of surreal though yeah. because one time I you know went I had a, a great date we went out to dinner and um, 
you know, hung out with him for with her a little bit at at her place, and then I came back home and I got I was reading blog posts. That was my first real big date yeah. on camera, and I was reading all these blog posts about like like Justin's date, and like people <laughs> were like you know blowing it up on Twitter, and I was wow. getting Facebook messages from people like you know great job like on your date. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> and it was totally weird, surreal. Yeah. yeah, I mean it was really fun though. Actually, yeah. a lot of people were like, aren't you creeped out by that? But you know, honestly, I love. Mm -hmm. like kind of having myself out there and, and um, it, it was really it's kind of cool to hear that feedback yeah actually. although the camera isn't on you right do you think it's it would be really di I mean we see the world as you see it do you think you would behave differently if the camera was on you 24-7 um, maybe yeah having it's a big difference between having wearing this hat with a camera versus yeah. um, well for a while there were a lot of film crews there was like mm -hmm. a whole week where I had like a film crew following every day and wow um, it was, you know, like Nightline one day, Today yeah, Show Today another Show, day. So, so it was kind of weird to, like, that's much more almost invasive, like yeah. having a big camera, like, following you around. Like, mm -hmm. well, I remember I went on another date, actually, along, like a lunch date, and they just, yeah. like, Nightline, like, just kind of came in the restaurant, and we're like, <laughs> and like, they were, like, on the verge of kicking me out, and I was like, okay, these guys <laughs> have got to leave. I'll just sit in the corner, and we're not going to disturb anyone. Because, like, they brought, mm -hmm. like, a sound guy, and, like, oh, a God. cameraman, and the reporter, like the the and the producer. Yeah, like, and I, I'm just like, I'm like, oh, oh, my God, this is terrible. It just, like, totally blew up my entire spot. There's this long-running kind of rumor that's yeah. untrue that I don't wash my hands after going to the bathroom, because... When I go to the bathroom, the camera goes up, right? Yeah. And so when I wash my hands first, they don't see that, and then the camera goes down. Oh. So then everyone's like, oh, he didn't wash his hands again, blah, blah, blah. And so they brought me hand soap. That was nice. Gross. That was nice. <laughs> so you, I guess you have to be like really extra careful about all that stuff, right? Like that yeah, I just roll with do. it. Like, let them, you know, let them believe what they want. Justin's a dirty bastard. <laughs> so, so, no, no, but I, I, I do wash my hands. Lobby one, you should know. Just Not TV is no longer relevant. I'm not a celebrity right. anymore. People, other people it's have like taken my place, you know? Yeah. And I, I think just giving people the power to like be able to broadcast live. Mm -hmm. Like before, if you want to broadcast live, you need like a million dollar satellite truck, and right. lines of sight, micro relays, and like exactly. you need to be a, a news station or yeah. a big company or something yeah. like that. And I think this is like saying, you know, mm -hmm. my equipment is, you know, whatever, 4,000 bucks, but, but yeah. like someone else who has just a laptop and they're you know, they can yeah. carry it around. That could be just, you know, anyone can do Definitely. it. Definitely. And I think that that's, live all the time. that's really cool. And then we yeah. haven't even seen the coolest uses of live broadcast right. yet, you know? I think. Like, what do you think a world would be like where everyone had, was carrying cameras all the time? You know, I don't really know. Like, there's, so I don't think, you know, a year from now, I don't think that we're going to be you know, yeah. deluged by, like, everyone wearing cameras like this. Mm -hmm. First of all, like, wearing it 24-7 is, like, pretty physically demanding. And, yeah. And, like, most people, and emotionally demanding, like, most people don't want to, like, wouldn't make that commitment. Right. But I think a lot of people might be interested in kind of wearing it for part of their day and, like, letting people get a window into their lives. Yeah. Like, maybe at work if they have an interesting job or at right. home if they have an interesting hobby or something. So now do you just want to smack all those celebrities that complain about paparazzi on them all the time? You're just like... Bitch, like I got paparazzi everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely you know it's weird because it's like definitely I've like learned a lot about I've actually have like so much more respect for celebrities yeah. now act, having <laughs> experienced a little bit mini celebrity of my own yeah. I guess where you know pe my phone number would get leaked for example and I just got mm. like on oh. like calls like nonstop yeah. and it's like I love talking to people but a lot of times they just call and like hang up and it's like okay well you know now i i, I, I can't you, deal with you this got, like, anymore prank calls? like have you got like the pizza delivery yeah we got the pizza deliveries <laughs> quite a bit actually I, i'm on my on the pizza like blacklist now <laughs> at like every pizza place in north beach like, is like don't yeah deliver it. <laughs> yeah. yeah well thank you so much for taking time out of your day um and i think you know we just want to encourage a lot of people to tell to tell their story and we're just trying to really capture the voice of this generation that's so open to sharing their lives yeah. and I think you're just really a great example of you know opening up your life and your world to everyone so um, we're just really trying to encourage people to to share their feelings and you know we're trying to create a great show out of it cool so much it's been it's been great and to have nice. you. Yeah, so uh, nice, nice to meet you. Me. And I think what you're doing is so exciting. Right, so, thanks. yeah, keep it up.